I'm Anil Kumar and here is an application question where we are going to use quadratic equation to solve the problem. The question here is a rectangular picture frame measures 20 centimeter by 30 centimeter. A new frame is to be made by increasing each side length by the same amount. The resulting enclosed area is to be 1064 centimeter square. Find the dimensions of the new picture frame. So let's first sketch. Let us say this is given to us and that is 20 by 30. Now we need to increase this by the same amount. So that means uh, we'll increase length and width by the same amount. Do you see that part? So both. So we get we get what? Length and width. So we have a frame which is slightly bigger. Kind of like this, right? So we are given here that this dimension is 20 by 30. If we increase by x on both the sides, then we'll have 30 plus 2x on this side, and we'll have 20 plus 2x on the other side. So that becomes uh, the normal, I mean, the dimensions for the increased frame. Now the question is, the, result, the resulting enclosed area is to be 1064 centimeters square. Correct? So that means area will be 30 plus 2x times 20 plus 2x and that should be equals to 1064. So that is the question for you. Correct? Now whenever you are solving such questions, my recommendation is you should write all the statements saying that let the width and the length be increased by x on each side. That is kind of important, right? So let me write down here. We say let the side uh, let yeah let the side lengths be increased by x from all sides. Okay, what I mean to say is because I did x along the width and x along the length. That's what I'm trying to say. So that is what I'm trying to say here. Now once that is there, then the dimensions of the bigger frame are going to be, as shown here, 30 plus 2x as the length and 20 plus 2x as the width. And now we can solve for x. Now to solve for such an equation, instead of just multiplying, factoring is a better way. So we can take 2 and 2 common from here. So if I take 2 common from this one, we get 2 times 15 plus x. And here also if I take 2 common, I get 10 plus x. And then we have 1064. Now we can divide by 4. So I'm just doing all this to show you that at times we can work with smaller numbers, right? So when you divide 1064 by 4, you get what? You can use calculator. So we get 1064 divided by 4 equals to 266. So we get 266, correct? Now you can expand and simplify. So 15 times 10 will be 150 plus 15x plus 10x plus x squared equals to 266. Bring all the terms together. So we have x squared. 15 plus 10 is 25, so we get 25x. We have plus 150 and minus 266 equals to 0. So which could be written as 25x, oh me, 25x, and this is, let's use calculator, 266. So it is 150 minus 266 is equals to minus 116 equals to zero, right? So at this stage, you can actually use uh, sum and product. You can actually factor this equation or you can use quadratic formula as the case may be, right? So that means you're looking for two numbers who, whose product is 116 negative and whose sum is 25. So that is possible if you have, uh, so let's try to factor this number. 
So 116. So we have 116. Let's find factors for 116. So 16 ending, we can divide by 4. So if I divide 116 by 4, the other factor is 29. Well, well, this works. If I can use 29 and 4, we will get 25. Since we need 25 as positive, we can take 4 negative and 25 positive. Do you see that? So, so we can actually factor also. Let me write here the factored form. Or I can just, I'll just push it a bit here. So I can write this as x minus 4 times x plus 29 equals to 0. Now from here we get two values of x. One is x equals to 4 that will give me 0. The other value is x equals to minus 29. Now that is not valid, correct? We cannot have negative value for x, not valid. So the only valid answer is x equals to 4, correct? So the question is find the dimensions of new picture frame. So the dimensions will be what? dimensions will be you have to add 4 to each side so 20 plus 2 times 4 and 30 plus 2 times 4 so the dimensions are 30 plus 2 times 4 which is 8 which is 38 and the units are centimeter by so that becomes the length and the width will be 20 plus 2 times 4 which will give us 28 centimeter right so that becomes the dimensions for the picture frame now reminder is that don't forget to write dimensions clearly right as your answer so that becomes your answer is it okay and that is how you can do it now in case you find it difficult to factor you can always use the quadratic formula and find your answer so that's an alternate way of doing it i hope that helps thank you and all the best